Padlet's introduced a new breakout rooms or group feature, which makes it really easy to get lots of students adding content to a Padlet, but in a really organized way through the sections. I'm gonna show you how this technology works and I'm gonna show you how you could use it for a writing discussion, but also for an audio discussion. Really hope you like the video and as always, if you do, please like it. And of course, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notifications. Let's get started. What I'm quickly gonna show you is how you can set up a kind of breakout situation where the students in group one can add their ideas here, the students in group two can add their ideas here, etc. And I'm gonna show you two ways of doing it, i.e. the students can add ideas by writing, but also they can add ideas by recording. I'm on my home page and I am using the free tool, so I can only have free Padlets at any one time, free live at any time. So I'm gonna click here and just delete that Padlet. So I've now got a, a spare one, an extra one. And now what I'm gonna do is just simply click on the button here, make. In this example, we can actually use one of the predefined recipes. So come down here and click on this and you'll notice uh, we can actually just ignore this for now, so click on done. You'll notice that you've got breakout group one, breakout group two, and great breakout group three. So we've got three breakout groups. Now we can add more breakout groups by just clicking on this button here. So you can create as many sections as you want. And you know, this could be for all sorts of things. For example, you might have a series of favorite fruits and then people are gonna give their opinion on what fruit they like, or perhaps a series of important inventions and people are gonna give their opinions about what inventions uh, are important and which one they think is the most important. That's really up to you. This breakout rooms idea is just a great way of organizing the content. One thing I would do is change the title. So come down to the settings here on the right hand side and I'm gonna call this discussion in groups. Discussion in groups. And then I'm gonna write the description here and I'm gonna ask the question, what do you think of AI? Is it useful for teaching? That's my question, and now I'm ready to share this. Now I'm gonna give you a couple of really useful tips because your students will be able to come in, click, for example, the students in group A will click here, the students in group B will click here, etc. They can click and they can add their answer. So they can write their name at the top. So I could write here, for example, group one, and then I can just simply write here. Now one suggestion is delete all of these options so that the students can only write in their name of their group and their opinion. And I'm just gonna show you how you can do that. So that it doesn't get too complicated, just close that down for a minute and we'll just delete that. We're gonna come up to here on the right hand side, click again on settings, and I want you to come down to post fields. And I want you to turn off, so go to attachments and turn off all the attachments, none. And then click on save. Now, all the students can do is write a subject and we can even change that. So we could click here on subject and we're gonna change that to name group name, so the students actually write their group name here, or they could obviously write their own name, however do you decide to organize it. And again, I'm gonna click on save. And now if the students go to answer, so say for example, group A, notice now that all they can do is write their name. So if it's gonna be representing the whole group, they would write group one, and then obviously they would write their opinion here after they've discussed it with their group and then they would publish it. So if I click here just to show you what will happen, group one's idea would come up here, group two's here, group three here, etc. How do you share a Padlet with students? Well, that's easy. Just come up to the top here, click on this button here. Two easy ways. First of all, copy the link to the clipboard, share that with students. Your students can then simply click on the link and access the Padlet. But another way is to click on get QR code. And if the students now use their smartphones and point at the screen with their camera, they can access the Padlet and then share their opinions. 
I'm gonna show you a brilliant audio trick now that you can do with Padlet, but just before I start, I have got a video on the AI features in Padlet because there are many new AI features, and if you want that video, it's on the screen now, and you can click on the link and watch that video, but we're now gonna move on, and I'm gonna show you how audio works in Padlet and how we can use it for group discussions. One really useful idea, and I'm just going to click here and delete that post completely because I'm going to show you something that you can do that can be really interesting with Padlet. We're going to change this from a writing activity into an audio activity where the students or one member, say, who represents the group will record the group's answer. And to do that, what we're going to do is come down here and we're going to come again to this lovely button, which is the post fields and in here this time what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the body and that way students can't write by clicking on hide but we're going to change is we're going to turn to attachments and we're going to turn on audio recording so the students can and don't forget to say that can record audio so now this is a completely different activity if you click on the plus button now you can write your name or for example, it could be the group, then click on the audio button. You can see it's already picking up my voice. You can make sure you connect it to the right microphone here. I am, I click on record, testing, 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 one, two, three, testing, click on stop. And I can even play back on the button. I can click here. If, I, if I'm not happy, I can dis discard it. But if I'm happy, I click on play back and save. I can even play it back. And then if I'm happy with the recording, I'll click on save. It will now save that audio file. It will take a few seconds to be ready. Click on publish. And now you've got your first discussion under group one and group two could do the same group three, etc. One final thing to remember, of course, is that, you know, everyone from group one could add up their recording. So I could click here now and add another recording. And I could be, for example, let's say Sandra and Sandra could now do her recording. So you're not restricted to one person. And if I do a recording here, just to quickly show you. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, save it. Publish it that recording will come underneath the group one. And the same thing will happen with group two, group three, group four, et cetera. Okay, really hope you liked that video. And if you did, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Make use of all the drop down menus at the top, loads of content. And there's also some content on the front page that you can access. If you wanna keep up with my work, sign up to the newsletter. You get updated with all the latest videos and the free webinars that we organize. And of course, part of that as well is the 14 part video course where I basically highlight the most popular technologies on the website. And nearly all of the technologies that I highlight are free or have a free option. I send you a video every three or four days and that can be really useful if you kind of want to boost your general knowledge of using technology in language teaching and language learning. If you'd like to do live training with me, then join me on Patreon. If you join me on Patreon, you get access every month to three additional videos. And these videos cover technologies that I often don't cover on YouTube. There's no advertisements. And I go into more detail around the ideas. So these are very much practical videos for giving teachers ideas of how they can use technology, teaching online or teaching in the classroom. Apart from that, of course, you get the live training with me. We meet once a month online. We look at one, normally just one technology, but sometimes two. And we do lots of activities with those technologies so that we get really familiar with them. Now, there's about 80 people on Patreon, but most people just accept the recording and don't join me live. But there's normally a group of about 10 or 12 people. And that's really interesting if you want practical ideas and you really want to build up your confidence with using the technologies. The other thing, if you join me on Patreon, you will get at this moment access to all the back dated content. So if you pay your $6 a month, not only will you get access to the new videos, but in fact, you'll get access to all the many videos that are already up on Patreon. So you might like to think about joining me on Patreon and joining me for live training.